Welcome to this yin yoga class. Today we're at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall in Taipei, Taiwan. This is a really peaceful park. There's really nice energy around it. So my goal is to help to transmit some of that energy to you today, wherever you might be in the world. So let's go find a nice quiet place to practice some yin yoga together. We'll be focusing throughout this class on grounding, as we stretch out the hips and the lower back, we'll take some inspiration from this banyan tree. Its roots are growing from the branches and they're very slowly trying to make their way down to the ground to find that nourishment that it needs. So it's a lot like us yoga people, always trying to ground ourselves. We'll begin seated on the mat so you can just come into your favorite way to sit. And once you're comfortable, you might close your eyes or relax your gaze. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. Relax your jaw. Soften your facial muscles. Drop your shoulders. Drop your hips. Allow your entire body to relax. Take a breath in and feel the air around you coming into your body. And take a breath out and feel the air that was once in your body now going back out into the world. You might take a moment to stretch your neck just by dropping your left ear over your left shoulder and then slowly dropping the right ear over the right shoulder. And coming back to centre now, you can slowly open up the eyes again. We'll make our way into child's pose. If you prefer to target your hips, you can have your knees wide apart. And if you'd rather target your lower back, you can keep your knees together. Wherever you are, bring your forehead down onto the mat, or it can come to rest on your hands. Take some time to wiggle if you need to, and then try to find some stillness here in child's pose. We'll be staying here for three minutes in total. So first, relax your jaw again. Unsquish your neck. Allow your shoulders to drop. And feel your entire spine stretching. And just allow your body to pour into the ground as you slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out.
take three more big breaths in and out. Now your fingertips can come back to the ground and use the breath in to slowly push yourself back up. Just coming once again to sit on the mat whatever way feels best for you. And just feeling the effects of child's pose. Feeling yourself breathing in and feeling yourself breathing out. From here we're coming into Dragon Pose. So you can make your way towards all fours. Then step your left foot forward in between your hands. You might walk your back knee back slightly to make this pose a little bit deeper. Your back toes can be tucked or you can bring the top of your foot to the mat. Now you can stay here like this or to go a little bit deeper you can bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. And those left toes might point away from you if that feels comfortable. And we're staying here in dragon pose like this for two minutes. Feeling the ground beneath your hands, beneath your left foot. And then your back leg is like your dragon tail just slapped against the ground, really heavy. As you breathe in and out, you might very slowly start to drop down through your hips, really feeling that stretch throughout your groin. You're welcome to stay here in Dragon, but if you'd like to take this into a little twist and help to gently stretch your lower back, you can bring your left hand slowly up onto your left thigh. Your back toes might be tucked here for a little bit more balance and support. So you can start to feel that twist within the base of your spine. And then you might slowly work up through your back, so eventually your neck twists as well, allowing you to look up behind you. Keep breathing here, squeezing out any unwantedness from your back here. Now you can slowly untwist, bringing your left hand back down to the ground. And from here we'll make our way into Sleeping Swan. And we're just slowly walking that left foot over towards the right side of the mat. 
Once again, the back knee might slide back slightly. Back foot can be tucked or flat. And you can stay with your hands on the mat or if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can come down onto your forearms. And you can even bring your forehead onto the mat or onto your hands if that feels good. We're here in Sleeping Swan for three minutes in total. Really feeling that stretch throughout your left glute. And once again, feeling everything just dropping down into the ground. Anything that you don't want to take with you, you can just pass it over to your yoga mat. Keep your awareness centered into your hips, feeling every tiny fiber as it slowly stretches and lets go. Keep breathing, you're doing really well. Now you can slowly start to come up. There's no ru rush here, you can take your time. And we're going to make our way into shoelace pose now. So we have two options. To come into full shoelace, you can just bring your right leg all the way around so your right foot is now beside your left hip. If that feels too intense, you can take half shoelace here by straightening out your left leg. Now you might be happy to just stay like this and allow the pose to loosen up your hips. Or if you want to take this stretch into your back, you can gently fold forward. Your head may or may not come to your top knee. And wherever you are is completely fine. Choose the version that serves you best. And remember in yin yoga especially, it's really important not to force anything. Always respect the limitations of your body. And we'll stay here in shoelace for two minutes.
you can prepare to release shoelace now, slowly untangling your legs. You can let out a big ah if you have to. And we might do some windshield wipers here, just gently dropping the knees from side to side. You can stay here or you might want to come into downward facing dog. And just stretching out your hips and your legs. We'll repeat on the opposite side now, so making our way back to dragon pose. This time the right foot is either between the hands or it can come to the outside of the right hand. Back knee determines how deep you go into this pose. Now ever so slightly feeling your hips dripping towards the ground. Slowly opening up and letting go of whatever they need to let go of. If you wish to take this into Twisted Dragon, you can bring your right hand up onto your right thigh. Slowly rotating the torso towards the right, starting at the tip of your tailbone and working up all the way to the crown of your head. And now you can slowly start to untwist, bringing your hand back down to the earth. Slowly walking that right foot over towards the left side of your mat for sleeping swan. Finding whichever version works best for you. Dropping into this pose for the next three minutes. It's very natural for your mind to wander off and to start thinking of things. If that's happening, know that it is completely normal. All you have to do is try to stop that thought as soon as you recognize it. And come back to your breath, back to the sensations you feel within your body.
you can start to slowly wake up your sleeping swan. Preparing to come into shoelace by bringing the left foot to the outside of the right hip. And again, if you need to come into half shoelace, you can straighten up that right leg. And wherever you are, just taking a few moments to let your hips ground down into the ground. Feeling both of your seat bones on the mat. And then you may or may not come into a folded shoelace. It's time now to slowly release the pose. And once again, you might lean back and do some windshield wipers. And if you wish, you can make your way back into Downward Facing Dog, taking a moment to really stretch through the backs of your legs. When you're ready, both knees can come back down to the mat. And you can find a comfortable way to sit. We'll spend a moment or two in the seated position, just finding the breath again. From here, we're coming into a yogi squat. We're going to stay for two minutes and then we'll come into dangling pose. If two minutes becomes too much, that is absolutely okay. You can always come out of the pose and then join us again if and when you're ready. So you can have your feet spread about mat with distance apart. Have your toes pointed away from you. Elbows come in the middle of the knees and then your palms can come together in a prayer position. Your elbows might gently start to press the knees away from each other. Try to keep your spine nice and straight. 
and just feel everything rolling along your back and down onto the mat. Find your breath. Focus on breathing in, feeling that air around you coming into your body. And breathing out, feeling that air that was once in your body, a part of you, now going out into the world. We'll come into dangling pose now, so you might gently tip forward when you're ready, bringing both hands back down to the mat, and then slowly straighten up your legs and walk your feet back into about hip width distance apart. Knees can be bent here, and you can rest your elbows onto your knees as you hold opposite elbows, or you can just let your elbows hang. Head hangs heavy here. Neck is unsquished. You might feel a lot of temptation to bounce around and to move in this pose. But just try to train yourself to be still. Really trying to resist those urges. Unless, of course, you feel any pain or extreme discomfort, then please do come out of the pose. From here, we're going to come back into squat for another two minutes. If squat is unavailable for you, you can come into child's pose with your knees spread wide apart, or you can come into happy baby pose. But if you are ready to come back into a squat, you can release your hands back towards the yoga mat. Feet can come wide apart again, dropping your hips down towards the ground. Elbows find the inside of the knees again, and your hands find each other in prayer position.
it's time now for us to release our squat. So you can come out however feels natural to you, maybe tipping forward or allowing yourself to fall backwards. Big ah here if needed. Let it all out as you release the pose. And you can just do whatever your body is asking in this moment. Maybe some windshield wipers or maybe just some stillness. And when you're ready, you can find that seat on your mat again. Pausing here for another little intermission just to check in, to find your breath, to feel whatever is going on inside your body. And you might stretch your neck out again here by Dropping your right ear over your right shoulder. Taking a big breath in and out. Now left ear comes over the left shoulder. Breathing in and out. When you're ready, you can look up and breathe in and out through your throat. And then one more breath as we look down. Now from here we're going to stretch out our legs with caterpillar pose so you can bring them long onto the mat in front of you. Make sure your pelvis is rotating forward and then just fold over your legs. Hands can be beside your legs with the palms facing up. We've had our knees bent and our legs tangled a lot throughout this practice. So this is a really nice opportunity just to straighten the legs out, give them a chance to breathe. You might notice that stretching sensation throughout your hamstrings. And you might breathe in and out from them. Remember, in yin yoga, we only ever go to 80% of the pose. So there's definitely no forcing. It's not a competition to see how deep we can go. It's just finding what feels good for the body and never overdoing it. You still want to feel that stretch within your hamstrings and maybe your spine but you don't want to feel as though you could injure yourself or you're forcing your body into a position that it doesn't feel comfortable in. When you're ready to release caterpillar pose, you can bring your fingertips back to the mat 
and then slowly push yourself back up. Take some time to lean back and just shake out your legs. Rotate your ankles. Get all of the blood and energy flowing again up into your body. And we'll end this practice with a little twist so you can bend your left knee, bringing the foot as close to the body as you can get it. Hug that right arm around the left knee and bring the left hand back behind you. Once again, we're rotating from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. You can release and now repeat on the opposite side. Right arm behind you and you're slowly looking back to the right. Now you can come back to centre and just do whatever stretches or wiggles or fidgets that your body is craving. Do whatever you need to do to release the practice. And you can come down into corpse pose for the last two minutes, or you can just sit in a comfortable position on your yoga mat. And we'll spend the last two minutes in silence, focusing on the breath, feeling this new energy circulating throughout your body and just feeling any heaviness or stickiness leaving your body now and going to the yoga mat. We'll take three more deep breaths wherever you are. When you're ready to, you can start to slowly open your eyes again. Move however you're craving to move. And we will officially end this practice here. So thank you for joining me. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this practice, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. 
I have loads more yoga practices just like this one and I'd love to practice with you again in the future. <laughs>